Relax. It's ASMR. Hello, everyone. Well, I've had this sitting in my office for a while, ever since I initially unboxed it, probably over a year ago. So I thought now would be a good time to bring it back and use it again for helping you guys fall asleep or at least relax and de-stress after a hard day. And what better thing to do that with than a Zen garden? So, I packed it all back up after the last time. So it should be pretty much exactly as it was when I first unboxed it. That's the first box undone. And we have a smaller box here. We have two medium-sized boxes. This one contains rocks and a little lantern, a candle, a little figurine and a large rock with something written on it. So we'll get to these later. And then in this box, which is quite heavy, we have of black sand, black sand, white sand, and white sand. and more bubble wrap. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job of keeping the black and white sand separated. There may be a few little grains here and there that got mixed up. I'm going to put these over here for now. Then we're going to open up this large bag. These are the types of bags that you would probably get from the catalog that I looked at in my last video. 
So if you haven't done so, go back and see my last video. I flipped through a product catalog that had all kinds of boxes and bags and lots of meat. Kind of product packaging plus a lot of other neat stuff. So we had a lot of fun just quietly flipping through the pages and seeing what was there and talking about it. Okay, so here we have the actual platter for the Zen garden. And then in this box, we have the utensils. We have a sharp stick. We have a bamboo rake. And we have this little thing here, which smooths out. Wonder which side I'm supposed to use. Nah, that looks better. This smooths out the sand after it's been disturbed. Okay, so let's look at these small little things here. We have a rock with some writing on it. Not sure, quite sure what it says. So if you can interpret that in the comments, I would appreciate it. We have a figurine. She looks very serene and calm. We have a candle, which I burned the first time, but it can be replaced. I think I have some more tea candles. I'll probably find one I can use. Then we have this lantern shape. This is the traditional shape that you normally see for these type of lanterns. I think it's just made out of a hard plastic. Made to look like stone. Then we have some small rocks. I'm going to keep these in the bag for now so they don't go all over the place. So that just leaves the sand that we need to put in here. So it looks like white was in this one. There's a little bit of residue here around the side. So I want to keep, keep with that. Let's open this up. Let's start from this end. Just slowly pour it in. Looks like sugar. You can see there's a few black grains of sand that got mixed in. It's pretty much inevitable. Fill in all these areas here. We'll start on this side with this bag. 
come around and meet where we had it before. Use the back of this rake and kind of even this all out. Come from this direction. It's kind of like a construction. Greater. It smooths out. I think it's just called a grater. I'm not sure. As you can see, it fills up the space pretty neatly. Fill in that area there. Push all the sand back in. The last little bit right there needs to be filled in. Okay, looking pretty good. I think my finger is actually the best way to do it. I have a lot more control. Nice. Let's clean up this side here if we can. Okay. Now, let's go with the next color. So just like the other, we'll start on this side, carefully, it's harder to see with the black, it spills off the edge and you don't see it. painting with sand.
And one more bag left. up this spot here. Let's even it out like we did the other side. Pushing it into all the little corners here. Filling in all the edges. Oops. Trying to be careful not to cross contaminate too much. Although it might be kind of neat to see everything mixed together. So instead of just black and white, it was like a shade of gray. What do you think? Should I mix them together? Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video where I even out the black and the white. Okay. Very cool. The white dust from the sand shows up on the black really easily. So there is our, scrape these back in here. This is our Zen garden. just gonna see if we can hide these little specks of sand underneath the white or at least minimize them that's the problem when you try to achieve perfection and purity because there is no such thing as something that is a hundred percent pure at least when it comes to humans. We try, and it's very valiant to try, but I think it is the striving that is the important part. Keeping in mind that Complete perfection is not attainable, but that doesn't keep you from trying. It just gives you a realistic outlook on what you're doing. Because even famous perfectionists like Steve Jobs and stuff were not 100% perfect. Okay, well, let's put our little lady here. Let's put her 
here she's contemplating this side of the garden. And we'll put our little lantern here for now. We have this rock. I'm not quite sure what it says. We're going to place it here. And I also found a new tea light. So I can take that one out. Uh, this is a little bit bigger. Let's see if it'll fit. It wants to fit very badly. Interesting. Just that much bigger. It's kind of in there. What was I just saying about perfection? Okay. We'll call this our raised tea light. Actually, I'm going to move the white stone to the black sand. Facing the little figure. Then we can put the candle here. I even brought some matches so we can light it up. Very beautiful. And now we can scatter our rocks. I like the smell of candles. I bought some evergreen tree, fir tree scented candles for Christmas, since we now have a fake tree, kind of helps lend the illusion of a real tree. But they burned very, very quickly this year. They were just the like glade scented candles. But I was really surprised at how quickly they burned out. I saw a video on all the different types of candles that Bath and Body Works has. And they seem to be the place to go get candles. Okay, is that a nice grouping of rocks that fits with our placement of our candle? You can use this to smooth down our sand. Kind of like that. We have this big open space of black sand looking across it to the small rocks and the candle kind of drawing a line between the figure and the candle. You can see that. And then this lantern, but the lantern that does not give light. This part of Zen Garden, I can kind of, I understand, as far as placement. The drawing the little lines and the waves, I um, 
do not know that part. I assume you obviously draw the lines and then you place the rocks. So let's try that. If I can get hold of them. Well, I hope everyone's Christmas was a merry one. If you celebrate Christmas, you celebrate Hanukkah or another holiday. I hope it was equally as merry and bright. This is about three days after Christmas that I'm filming this. I'm taking advantage of the winter break. To catch up on my video creation. Okay, I think I tried this last time and it was a big fail. Let's try this again. I'm going to move seated figure over there. Now, just drag this around. It has to be a constant, consistent motion. Coming all the way here. And let's pick up on this side. Come all the way around. Like that. Now, let's try one just right down the middle. And then one little bitty one right here. Okay. That's not too bad. So I had a question I'd like to ask you guys. I'm thinking about labeling my videos not only for ASMR, but also for sleep and relaxation and to help with insomnia, and panic attacks, because I've heard from several of you saying how these type of videos help you calm down and relax, kind of get your head out of anxiety. So if you find that something that you use my videos for, can you let me know in the comments? I'd like to know how many of you that are viewing this, whether you're a subscriber or not, if you just happen to find this video searching for ways to help you sleep or relax or deal with anxiety, just let me know really quickly in the comments. I'd like to see The percentage of that type of audience as opposed to an ASMR tingling type of audience. So I like to do videos that accomplish both things at the same time. And in the past I've pretty much just labeled 
my videos as ASMR and named my channel that. But if my videos also help with other things, I think it doesn't hurt to acknowledge that and plan for that. Okay, and the candle's not burning super bright. Place it right there. Now we also have this kind of awkward space here where all these lines don't really match up, so I think that would be a perfect spot for some of my rocks. Put a trio of them right here. And then a line of them here. And we'll put two more here. I don't know, that looks pretty awkward, but that's okay. So now we have our figure contemplating a smooth garden and a rippled garden with stones. I don't really like those. That's not a good placement. Let's put two of them down here. Kind of it has one touching each other. And another little one here. Now we've got to fix our grooves, our rows. Poor candle's not going to make it, is it? What's the problem here? I think the wax is too aggressive. It's not draining. It's kind of choking off the light. Too much of a good thing, I guess. Okay. So I went and got a paper towel and kind of soaked up a little bit of that wax. So now the flame actually is doing pretty well. I don't know if you can see it from that angle straight down, but um, hopefully now you can't see it, whereas before you probably could. So anyway, let me know what you think of this video, if you liked it or not. Please let me know how you generally use my videos for ASMR or for sleep or relaxation or anxiety, anything like that. And let me know what a good length do you think a video should be. I usually try to keep it over 15 minutes, somewhere around 30 to 40, depending on what I'm doing. Some things take longer than others. I did a really long video with the gingerbread house, and that seems to be doing pretty well. So just let me know. I have some neat things planned for the next year, even though I don't necessarily post as much because of my schooling, that doesn't mean I haven't been thinking about this channel and wanting to do some things. So I'm hoping I can work out a format in which I can be creating videos while I am also doing schoolwork and regular work and everything like that. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you for those who are continuing to watch and subscribe. Thank you, new subscribers. I am always encouraged to see that I have new subscribers pretty much every day. So I will see you guys in my next video. Um, let me know what you think. I appreciate your feedback.
Thanks. Bye.